Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Well, we're continuing Vlogmas, and I wanted to find a topic that I thought could possibly help you guys, especially those of you that are in school. But uh, a topic that I, I struggled with when I was in school was strains. Strains. You know how you overexert yourself when you're lifting heavy boxes in a move or overexert yourself in a game and you strain a muscle or you strain yourself or you strain your neck. I had the hardest time coding strains. And guys, we see a lot of strains and sprains, especially in ER coding. So I wanted to, to come to you today and show you exactly how to code a strain. Okay? So if you would, pull out your code books and let me show you a quick way to code a strain. In your code books, if you would, look up the main term strain, S-T-R-A-I-N. Okay. See how strain, the main term strain is, but look what's under strain. Back, cervical, eye, heart, low back, mental, muscle, neck, postural, physical, psychological, and tendon. But notice it didn't say arm, leg, back, shoulder. The main strains that we would code. So the biggest thing I could show you here is look at the, the direction under the main term strain. Say for example it's a strain of the hip. Go to main term strip, strain, Go down to the muscle because a strain is actually a muscle, right? And it says what? C, injury, muscle, by sight. And when you get there, go to strain. So if you watch that real close, under, if it's a strain of the hip, hip was not one of our main term, our subterms under strain, so we'd go to muscle, even if, and it says even if it's a tendon, Go see injury, muscle, by sight, strain. So let's do that. Go in your code books, turn over to injury, subterm muscle. We're going to go down to hip. And I tried to have this ready for you. See it, let's see. Hip and then strain. S7601, and then you're going to identify right or left, and then you're going to identify if it's the initial. Because remember in my book, that check box with the check in it means there's more digits. You need to check the additional digits. So notice I am under main term injury muscle go down and find the term hip and then strain and it gives me S7601 and to check the rest of the digits so let's quickly turn back here to S76 Zero one S seventy six zero one and remember we're trying to identify whether it's right or left right hip left hip but that tells me check the seventh digit which is right above it in the pink the appropriate seventh character to be assigned to each code from category S seventy six whether it's the initial visit the subsequent visit or a sequela. So if we're saying it's of the right hip, S7601, one, and I say it's initial visit, I'd add an A. Okay, guys, I hope that helps you. I struggled with strains for the longest, 
when I was in school and it was in, and the main reason is because I wasn't considering the diagnoses. I was too busy trying to figure out the actual diagnosis and not what was going on with my patient. So again, that's how you'd identify a strain. You're not going to find it in the main term strain, but you're going to follow the directions where it tells you to go. Okay, guys, hope that helps. Thanks. See you in the next one.